There are a lot of things coming to version 3.0 or just in general that update like expansion of the 3.0, uh, you know, 3.0 to 3.7 that has to be talked about. There's a lot of like different characters that have been announced, a collab that's all that's been announced for a while. And then, of course, all the other extra like optimizations that have been announced for 3.0 specifically. And I do want to dive into it because I think that this could be the best set of updates in a Hoyoverse game in a very long time. And a lot of people will say like Pentacone was like that at first. But I think Amphorius has a lot of potential. Now, I want to dive into that, but before we do, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the wonderful stuff. Check out my sponsor, GamerSubs. Use code Tystra for 10% off. Today's flavor is a mixture of Ginormo Armor Aid, that is from uh, Stephen He, and then, of course, also some pineapple cocktail. So, it's pretty good. It's one of those mixtures I did not think would work as well, but it's fantastic. The pineapple really mixes with the blue raspberry. So... Let's go ahead and dive in. So first things first, I kind of want to play this trailer just above my head. Uh, that way we can kind of get a sense of what is going on. I'm going to try and not, f well, I guess we could try and full screen it. Let's see. In the legend's beginning, the world was pure chaos. Then the gods cast down the core flames and the titans were born within. Three titans carved the heavens and earth. Three wove the threads of fate. Three molded life with their hands. And three guided calamity's gates. This is already a huge trailer the because of the fact that there's it's already giving us so much of the lore of, the of Amphorius. Endlessly. And it's got a lot of but Greek myth undertales or undertales and undertones, the right? Came the heretical black tide. So I'm pretty excited for that. Its gloom was darker than itself driving the titans to madness and the, the titans are definitely going to play a part in some way shape or form in my opinion strife broke out across the land and the stain of blood consumed the light of dawn as the gods waged but i don't think the titans were ever actually like the quiet in all a millennium of divine conflict left only a shattered world and an age of darkness by the way, this is the second time I've seen this. I'm probably gonna like watch it multiple times to see if I can like die, like dissect a bunch of stuff. Golden blood fell to the ground as a distant prophecy resounded. Flow, golden blood, flow. Converge into a boiling river that flows to the heroic heirs of this world. Aglia. Aglia, the gold weaver, you must gently caress the holy city. It's Aglia right and there. And hearken to the sounds and voices. I'm gonna pronounce it that way until the official there shall be the pronunciation. Messenger traversing through myriad doors. This is uh, Tribby. Tribby's gonna be a lot of fun. I think her kid's gonna have like multiple of her. Has enough knowledge to refute faith. That one is Python. If I remember, if I if I, if I'm thinking about this carefully. Go seek the priest who severs dawn Hyacine. and let the sky become the slumbering cot. Or Hyacine, however. That's my day. My day looks absolutely insane. I think uh, that one's Cypher. Cypher is like... Mm. I'm digging on Cypher. Casterize as well. Casterize is like, ugh. Both of them are so good. Right to embrace, then even frozen death will sleep peacefully at her fingertips. You will hear the sound of the ocean's abyss. Uh, that one is Zani. You will see outlanders from faraway realms visiting under the veil of gloom. So I want to talk about this a little bit, right? I want to talk about this a little bit now. I don't know who the shadow is, right? But there's a sp there's a specific thing that they just said right there, right? So if you listen carefully to what it what they're saying, Outlanders from far away through the storm, you will see outlanders from far away realms visiting under the veil of gloom. So the reason why I say that you will see 
Outlanders visiting in a veil of gloom. Now, why is that important? And I'm going to back out of this trailer really quick just to kind of talk about this point. Um, where is it? Where's... There it is. Okay. Yeah. So, there is a Fate Stay Night collab already in the works for Hongai Sorrow. This was officially announced, right? And the reason why I want to talk about it a little bit is because there was a comment in one of my videos, and I think that it's important to address this, that they said that, oh, the, like, the stuff that we've been talking about, like, here in the developer radio, if we scroll down as well, uh, where is it? Where's a specific thing? Or was it in... I think it was actually in this epic trailer thing. So, if you look at the epic trailer, right, where it's going over all the different characters and stuff like that, so, there's these two right here, and these spell out, or they don't spell out anything, like, there's not, like, everything I'm doing is just speculation, but they, the person said that these two are Honkai Impact third character, uh, uh, what is it, I had the, I had the comment pulled up, let me pull it up on my phone real quick, um, they, they're flame chasers, um, so, I w they say that the that this is for flame chasers they said aside from the fact that they are literally called them flame chaser heroes here are all the parallels keep in mind that uh hsr has already done a lot of variants basically just a long-witted thing um saying that these are the flame chasers i don't think it is because if you look at how many letters they're like specifically saying and the fact that there was a fate stay night collab announced like it has enough letters to have gilgamesh and saber now, again, Fate Stay Night has already been announced to be in 3.0, so it makes more sense for them to be that. I don't think it has anything to do with the Honkai Impact third characters whatsoever. Um, so, to me, I think that while it could be speculated that it's Honkai Impact third, I really don't think it is because this just, it, it doesn't, I think they're saving these two because of the fact they don't want to announce which characters from Fate Stay Night are coming in. So, it makes more sense for that instead of just flame chasers from Honkai Impact third. But um, yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and continue on with this real quick. Until the journey's end, when the titans of old have all fallen, and the nameless new king ascends the throne alongside countless heroes to embark on the grand mission of deliverance. I gaze towards the distant future where the sun shall etch the footprints of humanity. The These are all the characters. Aglia, Trivi, uh, or that's Anoxa, I'm sorry. Hyacinth, Maide, the world. then you got Cypher, Asterice, Python, Among which even life itself and there's two hidden characters as well, which is, it's possible, or actually four characters that Therefore they show right here. Even there's four mystery the characters right here. Only to inscribe the opening stroke in the poem of creation. Now, I think from this from this shot right here, you can even confirm, like, the thing that I was talking about with Tribby. Tribby is going to be, like, three characters in one. So it's going to be, like, probably a, like, triple character uh, thing, depending on, like, certain aspects of what Tribby can... Uh, what what Tribby you get in the, in the turn is what that Tribby can do for the fight, you know what I mean? Something that I was considering... So yeah, that was basically the trailer in general, right? Oh wait, there is uh there is a, actually like one last bit that I want to go over because we are getting the Herda as part of the first part of 3.0. Heroes journeys in the universe. So we already know about the Herda. They threw on a whim. Will your answer be any different? Amphorius? Amphorius? I dig that. And then there's one other character of reveal course, at the end of this. This will be a romantic story like none that has come before. You think so too, right? So a lot of people speculate that this is going to be like Honkai Star Rail's version of Alicia, which is highly possible. There's a lot of similarities and it. They also share the same voice actor between Sirene here and uh, Alicia in Honkai Impact 3rd for the Japanese voice actor. So it'd make a lot of sense, right? I think that's going to be really, really cool in general. But there, like we talked about before, we do have Aglia. We do have Trivi right here. We have Anoxa. 
we have Hyacene, and then of course in the next one we have Maidei, we have Cypher, Castorize, and Fainun, right, at the end. Uh, but the four other characters have not been announced fully as of yet. Now, last thing that I kind of want to talk about for this was what we looked through before. We do have a bunch of relic optimizations coming in 3.0, which is really, really cool. I think that a bunch of this stuff is going to be fantastic. It's going to make it so that your grind is going to become, I think, less tedious in some ways. But I do think also that it's very limited uh, in a way that I don't like. Like with this Wishful Resin thing. It's going to be basically the same thing as what Genshin Impact has, like, from, like, post to post, right? Um, and the reason why I don't like that entirely is because, one, it's limited to four out of the six slots, which is understandable. You can't change the main stat. And to be able to use the Wishful Resin, you have to be able to change the main stat. In the uh, Genshin Impact one, I don't think you have to worry about that because you're just worried about the substats and you can do those individually. Um, but, yeah. Not only that, but I also feel as though limiting it to, like, you can only get, like, a certain amount per patch, which they even said, uh, where is it? I think it's right here. You can consume 800 Relic Remains to form one Wishful Resin. Two can be synchronized at most. Uh, exchange a one-for-one one exchange rate with self-modeling resin. Up to three can be exchanged every month. So, basically, you can only do two per patch for 800 Relic Remains or three times with self-modeling resin. And if you're using your self-modeling resin like I am consistently, it makes no sense for you to get rid of that. So you're only gonna get two at a time each patch. And I think that's way too limiting, um, which sucks. It does suck, but at the same time, it is at least something that's added to it. I'm not saying that we should be positive about it, but I am saying that at least it's something for the time being, maybe they can change it later. That's just me though. I don't know if they will. They seem to understand their player base a lot more than Genshin Impact does or their development team. So maybe they'll be like, you know what? Maybe we should make it a little less restrictive. I don't know. Uh, but there's also going to be the reroll function as well, which is really, really cool with the variable dice. If you get a bad roll on a good set, it can not only reroll the stat changes of what you're getting. So like instead of getting like zero in crit damage for one of your substats, you could get all four, you know? But what's really cool also is that if you have a if you don't have a fourth stat on it, it re-rolls that fourth stat as well. So if you get attack percentage, crit rate, crit damage, and then defense, you could re-roll after your first uh well, you could re-roll it once it hits 15, and it could end up being attack, uh, crit rate, crit damage, and then let's say freaking um uh effect hit rate or something like that. It could change to something different. So I do like that. I think that that's a couple of really good additions to 3.0 and that's why i have to say that 3.0 and onward is going to be the best of honkai star rail uh storytelling wise i do like the fact that we're going into like a greek mythology type of thing doesn't mean that it's for sure what it is but with aglia confirmed as a character and from what it seems like she stems from like you know the whole beauty aspect it looks like that's going to be part of it. Um, I love the fact that we're going to begin the Fate Stay Night collab. I think that's going to tie in really, really well with what's going on. Um, I love all the different stuff coming. Uh, we're getting Remembrance now as a path, which is really, really cool. Uh, and I think that three out of the eight characters announced so far will probably be uh, Remembrance path just to build that up a little bit. Maybe even four to build up the amount of characters that could be Remembrance. I know that uh, Trailblazer will also be Remembrance as well for one of the one of their paths so i like that um but yeah there's a lot of things to really consider when it comes to honkai star rail going into 3.0 and onwards and i'm very very excited for that in general so let me know in the comments down below what you're most excited for when it comes to honkai star rail but that's gonna be it love you all to death and as always we'll catch you in the next video please take care and be safe